welcome back to my channel so as you guys know holiday series all month and this is another holiday look i loved how this look came out because it's so sexy but at the same time it's so pretty for holidays um it's a cut crease with um white eyeshadows and uh, a glittery pigment shadow that i used from urban decay which is called cosmics or cosmic I'll have all of that information in the description box below, but yeah, it's kind of simple. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of have difficulty doing a cut crease. I would say this is kind of like a beginner's cut crease, so it would be perfect if you just don't know how to do it and you just kind of want to learn how the two, like the basics of it. So this is perfect if you're be if you're a beginner for cut creases. If you're more advanced, it's still a pretty look to go for on holidays. And also, I incorporated a brighter. Um, more dramatic lip with this look you could go a million ways with lipstick you could put this with any type of lipstick that you'd want um it just kind of all just depends on you as if you want to go simple and not too dramatic i did do a simpler version of this and then after the simple version is when i start going in more dramatic into the eyes so if you're not the type of person to go too dramatic or you're kind of scared to um i have a an up um a more simple version of this which is kind of basically just the eyeshadow um, but yeah if you guys want to learn how to get this look then keep on watching so starting off with our face I'm using my Smashbox pore minimizing primer per usual and I'm just gonna be applying this all over my t-zone and then going in with my Kat Von D concealer to conceal any marks or blemishes that I have And also using my Nourish Creamy Concealer to prime my eyelids for our eyeshadows that we're going to be applying. And then setting with some loose powder. So moving on to our eyes, I'm going to be using this nude palette from The Bomb. And I'm going to be using the color Serious, which is just a black matte color. And an angled liner brush. So for our cut crease, we're going to be basically uh, carving out our shape first. So that is what I am doing here. And I find that using this kind of brush is a lot more easier than using other brushes, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. And then once we have uh, kind of our shape, we're going to be kind of smudging it out or blending out. So you can use either a smudge brush or a blending brush. Right here, I'm going to be using a smudge brush first and then packing on some more color with the liner and then blending out again until you're content with the depth and darkness of the color and then we'll be moving on. So after that, we're going to be going in with some more concealer again and a concealer brush to kind of clean up that cut crease. So it doesn't matter if when you're carving out the shape, it you mess up or you smudge it kind of all over your eyelids. You can always clean it up. That's fine. Going back into that same palette with the color Sassy, which is kind of like a white silvery color, and then packing that right on top of the lid. Going in with my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced, which is what I use almost all the time. You guys know this if you follow me. And then just going to pack that on with a damp beauty blender and blend it out.
Next, I'm gonna be applying some concealer. I'm using the Pro LA Girl um, to highlight under my eyes. And then going in with my gel liner to line my eyes. Next, I'm going to be using my Studio MAC Fix Powder to set the my whole face except my under eye area. And then going in with my shade Light Contour Palette, I'm going to be using the lighter shade and the medium shade together. And then going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder to bake my face. So while that's baking, I'm going to be using that highlight color from the palette to highlight my brow bone. And then going to apply some mascara since we are going to be applying some falsies just to blend in our fake ones with our real ones. And the lashes that I'm going to be using are the Coco Lashes in Goddess. These are my favorites. And then going to um, kind of brush off all of our excess powder from the baking. And then going in with a hula bronzer just to kind of bronze up our face as well. So if you want to leave it like this, simple, you don't really want to go too crazy, you could just leave it like this and then put um, a lipstick or a lip gloss on and you'd be set. Um, since I want to be a little bit more dramatic, I'm going to go in with that same black shadow and I'm going to be applying that on the bottom. And then to kind of wing out the front of our eyes, the inner corner, I'm going to be using that same angle liner and you can see here I'm just kind of lining it out. And then going in with Cosmics, I'm going to be just applying that kind of on top and then in that kind of the middle of that little line that we kind of made. And then just going to apply some mascara to the bottom lashes. Going in with this NYX Blue blush in chiffon. I'm going to be applying that to the apples of our cheeks. And then my Mary Luminizer to highlight. You can obviously skip this step if you don't want to highlight. And then do not mind this lip liner color. I just, this is the closest color I could find to kind of like a pink. And then going in with MAC All Fired Up Lipstick, which is kind of like a pink, almost red kind of color. And so this is a bit more dramatic if you want to take it that way. But since I kind of want to tone down the lips and kind of keep the focus on the eyes, I'm going to be going in with a nude lip liner. And this is my favorite lip combination. Um, I've used this in my other videos. Um, and this is Peach Stock by MAC. And on top of that, I'm gonna be using the Lippy uh, Lip Gloss from Butter London in Tea with the Queen. And this look is complete. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe.
Nope. Every time they see me ballin', all my old bitches callin'. Pull up in anxiety. I see a little bitch jockin'. Tryna get saved, she wanna get saved. 